simpler one dynamically add a input field when I click this button add button and I can able to delete this okay I can able to add I want to type something and I print the all values here yeah let's start here first I'm going to create the add button add and I want to click on click function for this and delete Until click and I'm going to copy this after this I'm going to create a handle click function when I click this button I'm going to add a input field dynamically so that I'm going to create one state for state to store the input field value here data set data to state its initial values name or uh, f name okay first name and last name yeah and i want to copy this i'm going to create map and inside map i'm going to add a input field because when i click this button we need to add a multiple input fields so data dot map and here i'm going to get the Val, value and also index okay after that I want to create one div here div inside the div I want to create input and here name is f name and value value is here we have value in this value val dot f name okay and also I want to create on change to get the on change value and I want to pass the event here and handle change and I want to pass the event and also index okay and I'm going to duplicate on this for one more time. This is last name, so L name, and others are same. I'm going to create a button to delete the input field here. Delete here. I'm going to create on click. Sorry, and click and I'm going to pass the index here yeah and I'm going to create uh, first I create on change method I'm going to duplicate this for two times this is for on change and I'm going to on click to sorry I need to change this into handle delete copy this and paste it here yeah we created a three methods first I create a handle add I want to add the input field when I click the add button okay here first I copy the set data and paste it here and then first I go, I go to spread the data and here I want to pass the f name and l name so that I'm going to create object f name initially it's empty and l name is also empty okay First, I save this and go to browser and yeah, if I click add button, it's input field adding dynamically and now I'm going to create a function for delete the input field. So here, we need to get the index here and yeah, here I'm going to create a data spread, okay, copy this and here. Delete val and I want to create one array and yeah now I want to delete the value so using splice and I want to pass the index and also I want to delete only one element so I need to pass one here after that set data and I need to pass the data value here save this and go to browser and refresh this page yeah I can add and now I can able to delete this value 
and uh, yeah if I type anything you can able to type because we are not created on change so here we need to get the event and also index here we need to get the name and value in first I get const here first I get the name and value e dot target okay target after that I'm going to create a const on change value okay on change value and paste sorry I need to create an array with the data after that on change value and also I'm going to pass the index here and name and I'm going to copy this value and paste it here after that I'm going to set data and I'm going to set the on change value here save this go to browser and refresh this page yeah. I can able to type you can add any buttons I'm sorry input field but it's Value is not changed. Why? Because here F name. Sorry, we need to change this into L name. Sorry for that. And I refresh this page. Now I can type in this only one first field. And here, yeah, I can add. And here, I can able to tell it the first one. Yeah. And also, I need to display the on change value after this. Okay. I'm going to copy this data and here I'm going to create a p tag here I'm going to create a json dot stringify I'm going to string stringify the data this one okay and save this and yeah I refresh this page initially we have two input fields its initial value is empty so that we have an empty string here so I'm going to type something values printed in the F name and here also here also and yeah now we can able to add uh, many fields here something like that and here also and, here. and I can able to delete this two field this one will delete right yeah that field is deleted balance field are exist okay i can able to delete and i can able to add if i refresh initially this field will be present if you don't want uh, initial input field means you just remove this save this and yeah if I, you click will add and refresh all field will get empty yeah that's it for this video. Bye-bye.